Well, howdy friends, Brian Fleshing of Mad River Outfitters in the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools, and welcome back to another one of our tutorial videos. Today, I'm gonna show you real quickly, because this is super easy, on how to whip a loop in the end of your fly line if it doesn't have one. Yes, it's true. You may, in fact, buy a fly line that does not have a loop in the back end. What? In fact, when I was growing up, none of them did. What? So we had to walk to school uphill through the snow each way, and we had to whip our own loops in the back. But there's still some fly lines out there that don't have loops in the back end, or maybe, yes, this can happen, that loop in your fly line may in fact break or give way. I'll be real honest with you, I don't typically trust the loops that come with my fly lines and maybe that's unfounded. Many years ago, two guys, you hear me talk about them a lot, Lefty showed me this and then of course Flip. And we do a lot of rigging here at the shop for Flip Pallet and his clients that go on trips with him. Um, he sends them to us for rigging because he knows we're gonna do it right. And Flip absolutely insists that we cut that back end loop off. Oh, yeah, loop, out of here, get it out of here, get it away from me. And whip our own loop. So uh, it's really, really pretty simple and it's surely gonna require There's some click glasses. <clears throat> And what I'm gonna use is, and, and really, you don't have to be overly picky about this, um, but I use Maxima Clear, of course. I'm a Maxima guy, I use Maxima for everything, including flossing my teeth. Um, no, I don't. I, don't. I, I would, it might, it might work. I use um, 12 thousandths Maxima Clear for this purpose. I don't want anything too heavy. You want it to kind of dig into the coating of the fly line Okay, and I just cut myself, I don't know, a 10 or a 12 inch piece here, really simple. And then I could use, uh, by the way, this is exactly the same knot. Um, in fact, it's, it's a snell, actually it's not a knot. You might recognize a snell from your bluegill fishing days or when you were a kid, and snelling a hook was a way of attaching the line to the hook um, which was superior to tying a knot just to the eye of the hook. Uh, theoretically, a snell is a knot, but it's a little bit different. And in the case of what we're doing here and what we're doing when we're using this snell to attach the butt section of our leader to the fly line, think of the fly line itself as the hook and we're snelling that butt section of our leader, or in this case, we're actually just using that knot to secure it and then clipping the line. So slight difference, although a snell is actually a knot. But it's the same exact knot that I've shown you before in previous videos. In fact, I used it in a video called How to Fix Your Broken Loop, essentially what we're doing here. And then I also did on how to attach your butt section to your fly line or attach your leader to your fly line. Same exact knot, it's, we kind of call it a nail knot, serves the same purpose, but again, in, in all fairness, it's a snell. So here's what we're gonna do, really simple. We fold the fly line over and we form a loop. And I leave plenty of tag in there because we're gonna do this twice, okay? Um, I like the added security of having this twice. So I'm gonna hold, pinch that loop in my left hand and then I'm gonna take a piece of this mon the, the mono and I'm also gonna pinch it between my thumb and my index finger of my left hand. Then with my right hand, I'm gonna bring the other tag in and come the opposite direction. I'm gonna go that way and pinch it right there at that same exact spot with my thumb and my index finger. Then this piece that I just brought to go that way, to go pointing towards my left, I've formed a loop there, you see. I'm gonna take this piece and this is what I'm gonna wrap the knot with. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna go once around, twice around, and I'm just starting to stack the wraps back towards my thumb and my index finger. Really super simple. Okay. 
And so you've got this loop right here. I'm going to grab that with my teeth and pull that original piece that I had going that way. I just pull that right through. You may have to come in with your fingers and kind of cinch those loops so they're all nice and tight and all lined up like little, like little jack straws right in a row there. I'm going to grab my pliers or my hemostats, whatever. And I'm going to grab onto the back end of that. And now you can see I've got that perfect little barrel. Uh, looks just like a nail knot. Again, it's a snell. It's a, it's a snell pretending to be a nail knot. But we think that this works better. Okay, easy. Tighten her down. Trim. Trim close. And of course, my manly pliers are absolutely perfect at trimming close. So are a lot of other pliers, but you know I like these because they're cheaper than most. Okay. And now I've just whipped that loop and now I'm going to do that a second time. Okay. So I do the second one behind. You see, I left this little bit of tag in right there. I'm just going to repeat that process. So I pinch and this is the tag in that I pull out when I'm basically finished. I'm going to come, I'm going to form my loop. I'm going to go the other direction with that tag in, which formed a loop. And then this piece that I just brought that direction is what I wrapped the knot with. So I'm going over top of the original piece going that way. And I'm going over two pieces of fly line. When I showed you how to do this on how to fix your broken loop and how to attach your butt section to the tip of your fly line, I used a stiffener. I don't really need the stiffener with this because I'm, I'm going up against two pieces of fly line and reach in there and grab that piece that's pointing that way towards the loop, pull it through, do a little finagling, get those loops all lined up, looking good. I'm going to grab onto one end with my pliers, make sure the loops are all lined up again, like little soldiers ready to go into battle and then reef on it. Okay. Now I can come in and I trim this tag end. And at this point I'll go ahead and trim the tag end of the fly line and you can trim it fairly close. You don't have to worry too much. We always try to trim knots as close as we can. We want this to be as smooth as possible. It's never going to be perfect, but it is going to have to go through, especially saltwater fishing. It is going to have to go through the guides. Um, and then I've always used Zappa Gap or some form of super glue. And you just put a little dab on there, R little dab on there, right on top of the monofilament little dab right on top of the monofilament on that guy. You can also use, I've been using uh, the Loon Knot Sense and then hit it with your UV light can really help to smooth that out a little bit. It can just make it more of a uniform, uh, smooth connection. You don't have the rough edges. Uh, I probably would have used the Loon Knot Sense today, but I forgot it, I left it at home. I've just whipped a loop in the back end of my fly line. And now when I'm attaching this to the backing, I'm going to tie a bimini twist, which we'll show you next week. And we'll come back to this and show you how to properly loop a fly line on, which we do for most anything outside of trout fishing. Let's say six weight and up. Uh, I'm going to use a loop uh, that I tie myself and I'm going to uh, bimini uh, loop that on with a bimini in my backing. And again, we'll show you that next week. I know a lot of folks are going to ask, can you do this at the tip of your fly line if you break your loop? And uh, as Flip always says this, it's America. You can do whatever you want. But I absolutely do not do this because that is adding a lot of bulk and mass and weight to the tip of your fly line. And it's very important to get the energy from the tip of your fly line into the butt section of the, your leader as efficiently and smoothly as possible. And this does not do that. You can, you can do this and go loop to loop, but there's a better method for that. 
you're better off just nail nining a piece of Maxima Clear or Stiff Mono and tying a perfection loop and then going loop to loop. Um, a loop to loop in mono is way better than doing this. This is about the equivalent of crimping a piece of split shot or two onto the tip of your fly line. I don't need to tell you what that's going to do. It's going to do really bad things to your cast. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, we did a video with our good friend Flip Pallet recently, and he went as far as to call a loop in the tip of your fly line evil. We won't go that far. You can do it if you want. I'd recommend against it. Um, <clears throat> check out how to fix your broken loop. We may revisit that in another video coming up. But anyways, um, if you don't have a loop in the back of your fly line, here's an easy way to snell that. Secure it with a little bit of glue or your handy loon knot sense. And now you can go a bimini in your backing and never have to worry about that connection ever again. So thanks for being here as always. We appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss an episode because uh, I can't even begin to tell you the amount of cool stuff that we've got coming your way. So stay tuned. If you like this video, hit subscribe. It helps out a lot. And check out these videos. We think you might like them too.